Welcome back. Now, Adelaide's fashion designers are preparing to showcase their wares for this year's Fashion Festival. Some of our most celebrated designers will be involved, but it's also a chance to shine the light on newcomers. But ahead of their big debut, Lucy Polkinghorn thought she'd put them through a very unique design challenge. Behind every item of clothing we wear is a designer. I've always played with clothes or tried clothes on, cut them up and changed them and I think it's always been something that I was destined to do. I started out by just like teaching myself how to sew and I was just making my own outfits out of my curtains and scraps I could find. Um, I'm self-taught. Stacey Hendrickson's label Casper and Pearl has been a three-year labour of love. My personal style is just very feminine and cute and girly, playful, a bit of structure as well. Fellow Adelaide creator Amanda Kovakev started her own fashion label Auburn in 2011 and it's already being stocked in boutique stores around SA. I'm so overwhelmed and really pleased with the response that we've received so far with the brand. Um, it's definitely exceeded what I thought um, was possible. But for local designers to break into the national and international market, it's not easy. I mean, there's so many designers out there that are trying. So, I mean, yeah, it's hard. Obviously, being in Adelaide, the fashion industry isn't as big as in Melbourne or Sydney, but we're really trying to create um, that first stepping stone for people to establish a business and to support our emerging talent, as well as our local retailers. The Adelaide Fashion Festival helps pave the way. Now in its sixth year, it's assisted many local designers in launching their labels. The opportunities that come from um, the Fashion Festival being on, it's, it's fantastic for all emerging designers. So, yeah, there's, uh, it's a great exposure. It's aimed to promote emerging, like to create a platform for our emerging designers and local talent that um, are coming out of Adelaide. Festival coordinator Christina Tridenti has been busy organising fashion events, functions and showcases that will be rolled out over the coming week. And one of the biggest nights is the Emerging Designer Award Showcase. It's quite a uh, rigorous process, I guess you can say. There's, um, you know, commercialability and will the garments sell and things like that. and. Uh, how individual the pieces are and if it's cohesive. So there's a, quite a big range of, um, of things that they get judged on. I'm just really happy just to be a finalist. Like, so many good things have come from it. Well, we decided to test the true skill of four of this year's finalists. Stacey and Amanda joined by Hugh Lee of label Willow and Grace and Naya Lascala from Designer Duchess. They were all eager to take on the challenge. All right, designers, you have one hour to turn these variety charity t-shirts into couture gowns. Your time starts now. Good luck. It's back to basics, so let's see how they weave their magic. Very difficult, I'm really stressed and trying to get things done quickly. Usually I have so much time to plan. Um, I produce overseas as well, so I'm not usually sewing either, so it's a challenge. 30 minutes down and the girls still have a fair way to go. Well, it's backless, the design, so I've spent a bit of time doing that. And with the time constraint, we can only <laughs> do as much as uh, possible, but, you know, we're having fun. I've never been under pressure like this before, so I'm very nervous. Three, two... Time's up, needles and threads down. So how did they handle it? I didn't think that I was going to finish it before I started. Um, I chose specifically not to sew. Um, I took a different approach and knotted my entire dress together. It was actually really fun. <laughs> I actually enjoy doing things under pressure and I'll probably work a bit better under pressure. I just used scrap fabrics from my office to um, gather the waistband and then I just got the um, variety tee and I made it backless in the back. Just turn around and just cut off the sleeves. I used some of the fabrics from my um, upcoming range and um, so I used two t-shirts and then tassels. Well, all designers successfully fulfilled the brief turning variety charity t-shirts into couture gowns. It is quite a lot of pressure, especially in an hour and um, many of the designers as well don't sew every day so it's great to see them you know take on this challenge but might not be something that they do every day and um, just give it their best and show their creative skills and you can vote for whichever designer impressed you the most just head to our facebook page and like your preference <laughs>